right, we've arrived in Hastings now. There's a free rock festival on tonight on the beach.
Evidence of people living on the site in prehistoric times under the hill fort from the Iron Age. Could have been occupied in the, by the Romans. Most experts believe that William set up camp on West Hill and fortified the site before setting up the fight in the Battle of Hastings. Later, the, so he trusted Commander was in charge of it. During the next couple of centuries it was rebuilt in stone and lots of alterations and improvements made. The kings of England, William Rufus, Stephen, John and Edward I all stayed here. In the 13th century, chapel storms silted up the harbour and undermined the cliff on which the castle stood. Eventually, the cliff gave way, taking with it the southern part of the castle. The rest fell in disrepair, leaving only the church buildings. These were seized by King Henry VIII in 1546 as part of the reformation of the Church of England. The church and remains of the castle rapidly became a ruin, overgrown and forgotten for more than 200 years. In 1824, the site was excavated and the castle became a popular tourist attraction. Of course, I will be taking some photos of what I can spare on my, vid on my um, mobile, which keeps beeping. It's going to go any time.
right that part of the tape is really bad so I'm not playing it it's um you've got me going across the beach um, and then it gets really windy and it's, it's it's really just a terrible noise so that was Sheila at Hastings I did have a wander around the sea front and everything sadly the pier hasn't got enough funds to keep going so it looks like um, a derelict relic really um, it's another sad pier um, so that's it then so I went up in the castle um, there was a nice little video for us to see about a little bit about the history of the Norman invasion and uh, that's it so over and out